Good evening. Welcome to WJZ.com. Tracking some showers and some thunder activity and lightning as well. Right here in the Baltimore region, we're lining up pretty good showers from Hartford County right through the city now, all the way extending down into Northern Virginia, as you can see. Lightning and thunder in that line around the D.C. area particularly and also around the Baltimore region, north of the city from the Beltway North, some pretty good lightning and some pretty moderate to heavy rain for about the next 15 to 20 minutes, but it is moving off quickly now to the east around 30 miles an hour or so. Anywhere from Annapolis down southwest of that region and in the eastern shore, watch for that in your area in the next hour as it crosses the bay. It may weaken a little bit, but a pretty good chance you'll see some of this as that cold front finally moving through the region. Showers we had earlier tonight, they move way offshore very quickly, but this is this actual cool front. It will chilly get chilly after this front moves through the region. Temperatures will be really on the cool side tomorrow. You can see some cloud cover south of us. There it is, all that line along those showers from Scranton, PA, just north of New York, all of it into the Carolinas, actually. Behind that, there's a bit of a break, maybe a bit of clearing overnight <laughs> once this ba batch of rain moves through. So hopefully you might see a little sun Saturday. But Saturday afternoon, clouds come right back in the afternoon. Shower activity breaking out sometime later in the day on Saturday. Saturday night, here comes some more rain by 9 o'clock. Pretty good amount of rain. Most of the day on Sunday, with this low pressure west of us, you expect to see rain and very chilly temperatures may only stay in the mid 50s, even lower to a little bit more than our early report. This is low is going to continue to drag chilly air in from the north with that high over Quebec. The winds right off the Atlantic Ocean, really chilly and damp. South of us, it'll be a lot warmer. South of Richmond, down into the Carolinas, temperatures there in the 70s, even some 80s perhaps. But we'll see the rain continue. Eventually, Sunday afternoon, this low will pass. So it, there's a chance after 2 or 3 in the afternoon, might just have cloudy skies and no actual rain on Sunday. So maybe we can get some of those cookouts in Sunday evening, 6 o'clock. Not showing you rain here. Rain to the west of us, rain south of us quite a bit. Now on Monday, another area of low pressure developing to the west. That means lingering clouds and, yes, a little bit more rain. Also, very chilly temperatures here on Monday. You see that big spin? Just stuck in the atmosphere is this low pressure, and that means it's hard to get it kicked out. It means Monday night, even some more rain possible. Tuesday, probably a few lingering showers as well. So tonight, shower, maybe a thunderstorm, mid-50s or so. Tomorrow, evening rain developing, mid 60 tomorrow. During the day, maybe a few breaks, perhaps, and some sunshine. North winds at 5 to 10. But look at this next seven days. 55-49 on Mother's Day. Really chilly day. I knew my high is 73 by the way on sunday chilly damp 49 at night 56 monday some more rain likely a stray shower tuesday 63 close to 70 the nicest day of the week would be wednesday showers around again by thursday as another low pressure approaches from the west partly sunny finally next friday things will begin to dry out hopefully if the preakness will continue to have sunny and dry conditions i'll check on that early next week for you have an updated forecast coming up late tonight